just relax go slow there's no need to hurry for there are no monsters chasing you just be still let go okay hello everyone <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with Ricky, and we're so happy to be joined uh, by our dear friend Eric Archbold, who's out in California, and he's one of our Strawberry Fields Forever Music and Enlightenment Festival, <laughs> such a mouthful, <laughs> musicians <laughs> for this year, and um so yeah, it's just so great to join with you, Eric, and mm. and just feel into our time together this morning um, and our interview and I just I just love for me what it means is I just get to think about you and I get uh. to <laughs> feel in my heart like really who you are and mm. and who you are to me and how the spirit is using you as a gift you know to shine the light and share the truth in this world and in our lives. So, yeah, for me, it's just such a joy. That's the whole reason to come together and, and do these interviews. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks so much, Kirsten. Yeah, I love you so both so much. And it's been quite a while since we've all connected. It feels like this is the perfect way to join in the heart and extend that love everywhere. Hmm. I love you. Aww. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> so, yeah, I was just praying this morning um, about, yeah, about you and your music. And I think a lot of our friends know your music um, and your album, Heaven is Perfect. Because uh, we're not shy on sharing <laughs> the good news <laughs> and the music <laughs> far and wide, yeah. um, freely as possible, and also you know available for downloads and everything. And so, yeah, the songs are uh, such a gift and are well known. And then I was just thinking of what I wanted to share about you. And when we first met was way way back. Um, I think it was when you came to the peace house and then I just have a real clear memory of being at our little house in Kentucky out in rural Kentucky our first little retreat house so it was back mm -hmm. in like 2008 eight, I think yeah yeah and I remember just talking about music and you were sharing that your family uh, called you a human jukebox <laughs> right. Yeah, and it yeah. was it was really fun on family occasions because any song that anyone thought of, like from the Beatles to whatever era it is, you say, Eric, do you know that one? Could you, could you play it? And so um, you could, and everyone just really loved that gift. Yeah. And then I remember asking you uh, then, and what about? Do you have any spiritual songs and spiritual music? And for me, there there wasn't really a lot around of Course of Miracles music at that time. We had Resta, who traveled with David, and um, prior to that and during her travels with David, she downloaded over 250 songs, like from the angels, and they were very metaphysical. Donna Marie Carey was around um, with her beautiful song, uh, album, Real Love. <clears throat> But there weren't a lot others, and there weren't a lot of, you know, it's like our our era or something, almost. Yeah. And and that was the first kind of conversation, I think. And and you said, no, not not yet. Yeah. Um, but then yeah. it wasn't long after that where David mentioned something to you about being a traveling minstrel. <laughs> so I don't know if you would like to share that. Um, yeah, that conversation or that experience with everyone, just to give a like an idea of how like the seed was planted and then yeah just what what then unfolded for you kind of musically and as part of this gift that you already had you know kind of being used yeah 
Yeah, I feel like David was kind of planting the seed in my mind even before that. He would always just like he never he never um, you know like told me I was a great hypnotherapist because that was my my prior career. He always said, "Wow, what a great musician you are!" Mm-hmm. And and I had this whole career of hypnotherapy before that, and I actually had this goal in my mind. I wanted to be like a famous Course in Miracles hypnotherapist at the time. I was like, that would be that would be great. And music was kind of just a hobby. I didn't really feel like it was my main thing at all. But every time I would see David, he would invite me to play at his gathering. I think I first met him in, or I first played at one of his gatherings in, in Sacramento, California. And afterward, he just said, wow, you know, you just have so much to give with your music. Mm -hmm. And I think it wasn't until a year after that, that we were at that devotional retreat in Kentucky. And I could feel that my whole hypnotherapy career was kind of starting to crumble in my mind. It wasn't feeling inspiring anymore. I was I was really wanting to dive deeper into the course. And um, yeah, that was when I had that that kitchen table talk with David and and I could feel it was time to let it go, but I, I was pretty scared of what that would mean because I had a house in Austin, Texas with a big mortgage. I had a lot of credit card debt, like $30,000. I had student loan debt, and I was reliant on the hypnotherapy career to have an income. Mm-hmm. But I could feel that I, I just something, it was it, like it had to go, and and I remember having that conversation very vividly where I, I said to him, I, so do you feel this is what I'm meant to do? And he said, yeah, I, I, I do. And, and I said, but, but what does that mean? You know, what, like what, what will I do then? You know, what, what, how am I going to make money? And how, like, what does it mean? And he, he just said, well, why don't we just pray together and, and we'll see what, what spirit has to say. So, so we both closed our eyes and it wasn't maybe, maybe 30 seconds later, he, he said, I'm hearing the words traveling minstrel. (laughs) (laughs) And I I just was like, what's a minstrel? (laughs) And he kind of tried to explain it to me, you know, well, you know, one of those like most traveling musicians that shares parables and shares, you know, love through stories and and it just it, it took a it took a minute or two for it to kind of sink in, but I remember distinctly this this strong feeling in my heart, like something like a spark was lit, like mm-hmm. he lit a little bit of mm-hmm. a little fire in my heart, and I, but a very like a glow of a fire, like a it wasn't like a passionate like yeah I'm gonna go out there and be a traveling minstrel. It was, it was this very quiet, very soft feeling of of, of total simplicity. Like, wow, what would that be like to just have to have no career, to have no, no agendas, no goals, and, but simply to be available to go where the spirit wants me to go and and be used as an instrument for peace musically. And I, yeah, everything in my I just I could feel everything starting to like melt away. It gave me the the feeling of hope that I needed you know, the feeling of something to move towards that then gave me the courage to, to let everything else go, but that, Mm -hmm. and I, I just am eternally grateful to David for, for seeing that in me and for just for no, you know, for the, the, the trust that he has in the spirit to carry us. And I just, I knew I could trust him that, that if I followed this, that my life would forever be, you know, be amazing. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful, Eric. That's so beautiful. So beautiful. Yeah. 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 What a gift to have that trust, really, to have that trust that there's, yeah, that you're going to just go for it. <laughs> really trust in that guidance and let it show you the way. 
And then, yeah, I know not long after that, then a relationship partner came in (laughs) with a very bright light who was like, yeah, let's be rock stars for God. Let's travel around the world and we can become like Bethel and (laughs) and Hillsong (laughs) and we can just fly high with our singing. And there wasn't necessarily the way that it was. That was Armel, by the way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. (laughs) It wasn't necessarily, yeah, the calling for you both to be Hillsong rock stars, but it was, yeah, it was again the spirit coming in like the wind beneath the wings saying, you said yes, and and I'm the wind beneath your wings. You just keep your wings outstretched, and yeah, (laughs) I'm going to support you to fly. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Um, It was quite a ride. I remember hearing David talk about it once, you know, like not maybe a year after that, he was talking about that this whole orchestration that occurred with me and he described it as like the holy spirit sent in two torpedoes to like just knock out my ego like one torpedo was you know get like undo the whole career thing and just traveling minstrel and then that wasn't enough though to really <laughs> knock out the ego it took one more and that was armel <laughs> <coming in. laughs> and then from that point there was no chance of eric coming back to the way he used to be Oh, yeah, just it was just boom, faith and trust. A path of faith and trust was to open up for you and and it makes perfect sense because even when you're like when you're singing and playing and when I think of you or I see you singing and playing, it's like really um a way for you to really let go of Eric. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like Eric has kind of stepped aside and it's like you just really give yourself over when you're singing and playing and yeah, it's just such a, it's such a gift because it, it just gets shared. That experience of, um, of just completely giving over to the spirit, like that in itself is what everyone is calling for on some level. Like everyone wants that experience so fully and so totally like just shine through me radiate through me let me not hold back you know i I feel that's a prayer that like everyone on the spiritual journey has like i i want to not hold back (laughs) i want to not hold back and then when you get out your (laughs) guitar and you just do it (laughs) it's just it's effective (laughs) there are times where i thought he was going to take flight from the chair across the guitar like and even if he, even if it was a slow song of mine, and he's just getting so into the song, my song, not his, and I'm like, oh shit, there he goes. But, but there's such a a vibrancy and a passion and a love that you radiate love when you play. Doesn't matter mm. um, whose song it is. Um, yeah. But your word that you did start to write songs at some point, and they're amazing. And the words are just like okay relax now. I mean, people listen to those over and over again, like a meditation mantra, like you can relax, you know, yeah. and the monsters and, you know, I have, yeah, yeah there I've are no monsters a, chasing you. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. And those songs came really easily. They didn't really, I mean, I didn't like sit down and try to write an album or even any of those songs. It, they, it was like, they really did come and, and it was like, oh my God, this sounds this sounds like a really good song. I better write this down, and and then you know pull out the guitar, and <laughs> it was it was really exciting to me. I remember feeling so excited when those songs were coming through because I could feel something big was happening. It was it was these were different songs than I had ever written before, mm-hmm. and um, I could feel they were really for me, uh, like especially that first one that you were just singing, just relax. I I was kind of shaken up by this whole idea of wow I, what did I what have I just done I I just, <laughs> I just gave up my hypnotherapy career and and I did experience a lot of miracles after that where all the money I needed came in to pay off my debt and the house got sold and it was like everything was the dominoes were all lined up and they all just got knocked over so easily to to free me up but still there was a lot of fear in my mind around where this was all heading and when when i heard that song just relax coming into my mind it 
it was such a, mm. yeah, it was such a necessary mm. idea for me to keep singing over and over and over and over again in order to keep reminding myself that, that I was, I was being cared for. Mm. Mm. That's beautiful. <laughs> That's beautiful. I know. And you can, you can feel that like when the songs are really, truly like that's a teaching from the course, you know, we receive the gift, we receive the healing ourselves, and it's always for us. And then we share it, then we extend it. And it's mm. so different to the world's music where you're trying to write a good song for others. This is, right. this is really truly for us. It's received. It's, it's the healing gift and it's, yeah, it's for us. And then it's given away and the, and it has such a quality of, of true extension. It's, you know, that's as close to creation as you can get when you're giving yourself away. You're giving that love mm. away. You're giving away the gift of healing that you're in. And that's what I love about about our songs. When we sing them, it's for us in the moment. There's no other reason to even sing them. We can't even sing them if if that thought's in the mind, like it's for someone else or it's if there isn't that connection to the yeah. in the moment. Like truly yeah. in the moment. Yeah, the download is given for us first and also just the opportunity to be able to extend them through guitar and singing. Through because Eric and I, you and I have been on the road several times and there's a lot of healing happening in the mm -hmm. car and setting up for these gatherings and yeah, just a lot. And then then once we sit down with that guitar and start playing the song, like the love is there automatically. Thank God, because it's, it's some, you know, some unwinding and some undoing, a lot of undoing of the self concept. And then we all, we, you know, we just we're so blessed to ha to be able to even sit in a chair and play a song that spirit gave to us for ourselves. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then to even open up our eyes at the end of the song and see the other person across from us touched by it, and it's like, like triple whammy, like. <laughs> We're here together. Thank, yeah, thank yeah. God. Like, <laughs> <that sucks>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're getting get it's like another love torpedo. We keep getting torpedoed by love. It's keep yeah. knocking us out of our head and into our heart mm. over and over and over again. That's beautiful. Wow. We're kind of redefining songs as miracles, aren't we? <laughs> the more we talk about it. So we're literally <laughs> describing a miracle. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah. It's really beautiful. Mm. Yeah. Kirsten was just uh, sharing with me um, about her her feeling of you and her heart and um, just what a gift it is to have you. Um, and when I first came into this community, I had never collaborated with anyone. And I, I wrote my own songs. I got my own words. I learned it on guitar. I heard it. And I was, I was, people were like, we'll, we'll join with you. And I'm like, no, I'm, I'm a solo artist. Thank you very much. I had no idea that I had no idea how to collaborate. And so, yeah, what a gift you have been for so many, like for Kirsten and her music, Armel and myself, um, just coming up underneath. Um, in support because you are such a natural on that guitar you are a natural in the studio in the yeah just in in so many ways and um, it's just been such a vibrant and exciting and joyful backdrop for us I don't know it I I, I can never remember all the healing that we we go through because of all the joy that's there side by side with it and yeah, you and I have such complementary ego dynamics that it's been so tense, like complete opposites. Like I'm screaming at you and you're like, can you do that more? I like it. And I'm like, you have got to be kidding me. But it was such a healing. And then now I can tell you anything. Like you probably know more about me than anyone in the entire world. Hmm. Because I just, there's no, um, yeah, levels to undo. Like we came side by side and. Neither of us thought we knew more. And so, yeah, I just, we traveled so much together that I just, you ended up seeing every side of me. And then I would share with you the things that you couldn't see. And 
yeah, you were very transparent with me as well. So mm-hmm. just such a gift to be able to um, have a mighty companion like that and who supports you to shine your light at the same time. Like, I don't know how I would have gotten up on stage. I say stage, but for a gathering, not a gig, but like how I would have performed you know, when I was going through such an undoing and yet you being next to me and the one thing you've always done so well is just to be the space, the quiet space. Um, yeah, with or without that guitar. And it's just been such a gift to have you in my life and, um, in my mind and just a witness to that quiet peace, um, with your songs or just with your silence and your presence. So, Mm. Just looking back and just with complete gratitude for, for your support, for your wind beneath the wings, like, in so many different ways. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's been such a gift for me as well. I, I love how it was like all those songs came through me originally back in, I guess that was 2009, 2010, but I haven't written any new songs since then. I've been kind of like, okay, Spirit, I'm ready if you want me to write more, but... But, you know, if not, that's okay. But instead, it was like Spirit was saying, okay, I want you to support these other people now who do have, who have new songs coming through them. And, and you're going to get to be right there, right there on the front lines with them as they let the songs come through and support them with that. And that has been just incredibly, I mean, I just love it because it's, it, it's a combination of music coming through and relationship, mm. which is everything, you mm. know, that it's like with the collaboration. It, yeah. Like all this stuff gets to get flushed up. Like, like with Armel, she, I was like, these songs you write and they're kind of girly and true through. <laughs> and I'm not, you know, I had to undo a lot of my musical preferences when I was collaborating with her. And then, uh, you know, and then your songs, I actually just loved your songs, but we had other stuff to heal and just in terms of our relationship and, uh, you know, just our personalities. And it's, it's just been such a, such an ongoing adventure in mind training and, and relating and collaboration with music that it's, uh, <laughs> it's been quite exciting. I just had a flash of the quantum love experience and the three of us sitting in the yeah, yeah. studio back there. And, oh my God. Yeah. I just remember thinking, God, Eric, you're so You like happy. screamed at me oh. and then you like left the room. I'm like, tell her to come back. I like, she doesn't have to leave. I, I like it when she gets angry and we can, we can all just let it up. Yeah. And just thinking I, you knew nothing. And then the, just the outcome of that song, how, how much you, you actually, gave to that song mm-hmm. in the mm-hmm. end it was just a masterpiece that couldn't have happened with it had to have all three of us mm-hmm. and how each of our parts were so important and so beautiful that was huge mm-hmm. quantum yeah. love came yeah. the download came um through kirsten yeah and yeah then i put the music to it and then eric put the music to it and these backup because I know like five chords, you know, and, um, I mean, I'm exaggerating, but like, and then he did all this backup stuff that I was just looking at. I'm like, what are you doing? Had so much healing. And then the end result was like, Oh my God, it's the most beautiful song. And I remember Eric saying, I'm not going to let you guys sing. This song is too great to let y'all have it. And I was just like, Oh my God. He's out. We're going to do the song on our own. We do not need him. He's like, this song is way too good to let y'all have. I know. I remember this that. Character. I remember that. Yeah, like, yeah, just feeling that song really deserves to be sung, you know, on a huge stage to the masses by really, really good singers. <laughs> and, and we're, yeah, we're passionate and we love it and the heart comes through it. But in terms of probably the Hillsong quality that you had in mind was a little yeah. beyond our reach. We still, haven't, we still haven't really given that song the stage quality. Yeah. You know, it someday we'll have a full band with us and we'll be touring with it. It and that it yeah that song deserves to be heard on an epic scale someday <laughs> i think i think it's going to happen at some point <laughs> well it's all fresh so we're good yeah, yeah exactly yeah mm. <sighs> <sighs> oh that's great well we can have a reunion we can sing quantum at strawberry yeah. that's a good size yeah. stage yeah that'd be awesome yeah
Yeah, we're definitely going to rock it this year. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So a whole new, whole new level of the strawberry experience for everyone. Oh, man. Mm. Yeah, I don't think I try to attempt that song much without you now. I'm like, oh, where's Eric? We can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds so good with you. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> well, I have a um, a little video of a song that I would love to share with everyone, and it's from the uh, Strawberry Fields Festival from 2013, I think. Yeah. Um, it's a song that Laura Chopin, our friend, wrote. Um, it's a Strawberry Fields Redux song. I've shared the audio, but I just came across a video of it. So it's Eric and Laura... Uh, singing and playing it together and the three of us were kind of doing a whole session together on the stage so I'm there sitting in between them just basking in the music (laughs) Um, but it's such a beautiful song and it just gives a real feeling of the the presence and the purpose of the festival Um, it's even yeah it mentions does it mention the canyon walls yeah, have seen, yeah, it, seen all. it all. Yeah, yeah, it's a great song. Yeah, so she kind of wrote it there, inspired by Woodstock and and the whole original song, and then just adapted it a little bit to just really include, you know, our festival out there in the canyon. So I'm gonna well, we'll see how it works with the technology, but apparently I should be able to just slide it on in here and yes. and play it. Now they cheer us 
song song oh my god mm. so beautiful oh my yeah that's our theme song this year it is mm. it is it's beautiful mm. yeah <sighs> oh. mm. so just yeah it would be a joy <laughs> to join with you again this summer eric yeah, I'm yeah. very excited about it. <laughs> it's like all the healing and crap we go through. It, I never remember it. I'm always like, when are we going to collaborate again? It's like, and then when I'm there, I'm like, get me out of this house with him. You know, it's like so intense. And then you just only the love remains. It's, yeah, it's, it's so mm. wild. I'm so grateful for you. I'm so grateful. I like mm. accidentally sent twice. I love you. I love you. It's just sending to you in the air, in the ethers. Like, that <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. yeah. Ah, beautiful. So, mm. yeah. So we just stay in touch and we just keep shining the light. And right now, Eric's out in California. Mm. And just available for gatherings and joinings and just sharing the music and sprinkling strawberry seeds everywhere. <laughs> 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 strawberry seeds. <laughs> yeah, like, there's going to be a group coming. I just got a visual. <laughs> from, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. David talks about Johnny Appleseed, you know, exactly, going around yeah. sharing his apple seeds or you've got that strawberry seeds. Eric's strawberry seed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can feel it, though. You're there. I can almost feel myself there vicariously through you yeah yeah we're definitely strongly connected right now yeah yeah Yeah. in all ways oh beautiful yeah well there's already friends coming from california so there could be a couple of convoys yeah Yeah. cars coming over it's a drive so it's easy to yeah come from that way yeah yeah Dennis and yeah, there'll yeah, be more. I can feel it. Yeah, strong contingency from California. There is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, there, I almost got in the car with Jess and Nick, Nick the other day because I can just feel it. But I'm having all the phone calls from here, and you guys are out there making the connections. So it feels really yeah. good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. Okay, okay, beautiful, Eric. Oh, yeah. just so grateful. Love you. Can't <laughs> wait to see all the collaborations like at Strawberry this year because it just feels like, yeah, a whole new group of friends are coming and wonderful musicians and there'll be opportunities for jamming and Miracle Mike and, yeah, I mean, just sitting back and basking in the, mm. like the full sets of, yeah, musicians. So, yeah. yeah Sharing yeah. from their heart. Yeah. 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 It's it's going to be incredible. I, I can feel it. Yeah. So. It is profound. It'll be a profound experience. We're it'll not messing around with the music. Yeah, every, everyone's mind will be blown. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! What was that? Something really good happened to me at oh. Strawberry this year. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Beautiful. Mm. 
Okay. You, Thank Eric. you, Eric. Uh, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for, for connecting with me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. It's such a joy to have you all come and be online and just all the love hearts. Right before we played that song, um, there was a request for a song of yours. And so there it just happened <laughs> without even looking at the notes. <laughs> so, beautiful. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. See you next Wednesday for more <laughs> strawberry inspiration. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Right here. Right now. You can be at peace Only love is all around